alam mo ba na ang konsepto ng interjection ay nasa iba't ibang wika at kultura noong sinaunang panahon. Sa Latin, meron tayong interjection tulad ng O, Hey, at Vey na ginagamit upang magpahayag ng sorpresa, tuwa o pagkapuot. Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayong araw, ang interjection, part ito ng Verbal Ability Series under English Grammar and this is also part of our Civil Service Exam Review for both professional level and sub-professional level. Pero kung hindi ka magtitake ng exam and you just want to learn English, particularly yung 8 parts of speech, that's completely okay as well. So, there are plenty of types of interjection and we have 6 on the list. We'll start with joy or excitement. Tingnan po natin kung ano ba ang ibig ipahiwatig kapag ang interjection ay tungkol sa joy or excitement. Ito po ang mga interjection na nagpapahayag ng kasiyahan o excitement. Magbigay po tayo ng example. Sa sentence number 1, Yippee! I got accepted into my dream university. Ang yippee ay isa pong interjection. Nagpapahayag siya ng pagkatuwa, pagkagalak at ng excitement. Pangalawang example, Hooray! We won the game and became the champions. Ang hooray po na naka-underline word ay isa pong uri ng interjection. At kung napapansin nyo po, meron siyang exclamation point sa dulo. Narito pa po, po ang ilan pa sa listahan ng mga examples ng interjection na nagpapakita ng joy or excitement. Ito po ay ang wow, woohoo, awesome, amazing, ecstatic, thrilled, at iba pa. Dumako naman tayo sa pangalawang uri ng interjection. Ito ay nagpapahayag ng surprise or shock. So, from the word itself, kapag sinabi natin ang ganitong, or kapag ganito, ito po ay mga interjection na nagpapahayag ng pagkabigla. Kasi nga, na-shock ka, ba? Hindi mo inaasahan ang isang pangyayari or action. Magbigay tayo ng example. Wow, I can't believe you won the lottery. Diba? Na-shock siya. Hindi siya makapaniwala na nanalo ka sa lottery. So, wow ang ating interjection dyan. Another one. Oh my goodness! Did you see that incredible magic trick? Ang oh my goodness is another um, interjection po. Okay? At narito pa po ang listahan ng ilan pa sa mga um, interjection. So, we have oh, we have wow, goodness, holy cow, unbelievable, at marami pang iba. Screenshot nyo na lang po or post the video. Next is number 3, pain or discomfort. Kapag ganitong uri naman ng interjection, alam na natin kung anong ibig ipahiwatig. Ito po ay mga interjections na nagpapahayag ng sakit, discomfort, o stress. Magbigay po tayo ng halimbawa. So, Ouch! That paper cut really hurts. So, ang ouch po dyan, na naka word yan po ang ating interjection. Another one, arg. My headache is killing me. Ang arg dyan, yan po ay isang interjection. Papahiwatig siya na nasasaktan siya sa, dahil sa headache niya. Narito po po ang ilan sa mga list ng interjection na tumutukay sa pain or discomfort. Pwede mo siyang basahin. You can pause this video or you can take a screenshot of this po. So, number four na type ng interjection na yung approval or agreement. Alamin naman natin kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin kapag ganito. Ito po ay mga interjection sa nagpapahayag ng pagpayag o affirmation. Sige, go! Okay, agree ako sa iyo. Things like that. So, magbigay tayo ng example. Yes, I completely agree with your idea. Ang yes dyan ay isa pong interjection. Another one, absolutely. That was an outstanding performance. So, that's another way na nag-a-agree ka sa nagsasalita. So, here are a few more examples po ng interjection natin. Nagpapahayag ng approval or agreement such as spot on, that's correct, right on, at marami pang iba. You can screenshot that or download this video. Next is displeasure or disgust. Kapag ganitong uri ng interjection, ano naman ang pinapahayag nito? So, ito po ang mga interjections na nagpapahayag ng galit o pagkasuklam. Magbigay po tayo ng example in a form of sentence. So, sentence number one, Ugh, I can't believe I stepped into a dog poop. <laughs> Sorry, hindi ako magaling sa action. So, yung ugh dyan, yun po ay isang disgust or, you know, this something like that. Next, 
Ew, that food looks absolutely disgusting. Ang ew is another, ano po yan, interjection. So, here are a few more examples of displeasure or disgust. You can take a screenshot of it. You can use that in other conversations somehow. La- last but not the least is greeting. So, kadalasan natin ginagamit ang greeting. So, ito po ay mga interjections na nagpapahayag ng syempre pagbati. Magbigay tayo ng halimbawa in a form of sentence. Sabi dito sa sentence number one, Hello, how are you doing today? So, ang hello ay isa pong interjection. Another one, hey, it's great to see you again. Or it's great to see you again. Ang hey is another interjection. Binabati mo siya. And here are a few more examples po ng greeting. So, ahoy, hi, welcome, hey there, what's up, good day. You know, things like that. All of that are greetings. Now, let's find out kung may natutunan ba tayo sa topic natin today. So, in the sentences that follow, identify what type of interjection is being used. So, i-ready nyo yung pen and paper nyo and you can answer along with me. Question number one. Wow, that sunset is absolutely stunning. Ang wow, yan yung naka-underline word natin. Is it greeting, joy or excitement, pain or discomfort, displeasure or disgust, or none of the above. So, let's take a look and see kung tama ang sagot mo. The correct answer is, yes, you're right, joy or excitement. Kasi nagpapahayag siya ng excitement or happiness. Okay? Next naman, the question is this. Ouch! That hot stove burned my hand. Ang ouch po ang naka-underline word is this a greeting, joy or excitement, pain or discomfort, displeasure or disgust, none of the above. Ouch! Ano ba yan? Ano bang pinapahiwatig niya? So, the correct answer po is letter C, pain or discomfort. Nasasaktan siya. Okay? So, nag-ouchy-ouchy siya. Good job if you got the right answer. Now, the third question that we have here is, Hooray! We won the comp petition or the championship so hooray is it a greeting joy or excitement pain or discomfort displeasure or disgust or none of the above let's take a look and see if you got the right answer so the correct answer po is going to be letter b joy or excitement so good job if you got the right answer okay simply put lang masaya lang siya dahil nanalo sila sa championship so, I hope that you've learned something from this video, guys. That is basically it. If you like this video, please like it. If you have video suggestions, feel free to comment that below. We also sell reviewers, soft copies. If you are interested, just comment down or send me a message to Facebook page. And I'm currently doing an online course. If you wanted to join, please message me as well. See you in the next video. Bye!